What is up guys, Pie Muffin here, and we are back in our SAO Rising Steel video. So, we're going to be hopping into the new ranking event today, and I actually have a funny story about how that went, but it's actually just at login time. So, uh, we're going to go ahead and grab my login, I suppose. And then we'll go over everything real quick. Hello, Alice. Uh, this is still the same night that the event went live, so... Um, I mean, you'll be seeing this days later, but, uh, I guess just for reference, know that this is the night that everything went live. There we go, 6.05 right there. Um, I'll grab my, uh, guild thing later. Um, I guess we'll just get these out of the way real quick. So, um, I have a much better feeling about this ranking event as opposed to the other one. From two weeks ago, if you remember two weeks ago, we had that stupid ranking event uh, that came with uh, Sinon and Leafa. that was like, if you didn't use the Leafa, uh, the boss would have like, like 720% or something uh, uh, gauge. Uh, so nothing from my dailies right there, which is fine. Um... So yeah, and I also have a, like I said, I have a funny story to kind of talk about this uh, ranking. So I did all the way up through the level 80 stage. I haven't done all the story stuff. But um, we do fight Gabriel here in his uh, demon angel, what do you call it? It's the angel of death um, or something like that. Um, which I think this could definitely be a unit. I would love if this was a unit. Um, you know, just make this, honestly, if they want, they're not going to. Um, because since he's part of this event, he's definitely not going to be the next win unit. I would almost put money on it. I'm not going to, but I would almost put money on it that he would not be next week's, uh, unit. I think seeing us seeing him here now, it would be like, you know, maybe like two months before he could even possibly, uh, be a unit. But I think it would be really cool if he was. He's kind of big, so I don't know how they would handle that. They might scale him down a little bit. Um... But who knows? So, the funny story I have with this, I did the first three stages. As you can see, I have a score of 1.5 million. Now, I did the first three stages with Kirito's new weapon still at level 1. I forgot to level it up before I hopped in there. And then it wasn't until I hopped out and looked at my team, I was like, oh crap, his weapon's still level 1. So, I think we're definitely going to beat a 1.5 million score on this level 100 stage. But let's look over everything. I actually haven't looked at the event shot myself. Ooh. Yo, they're giving us so many. Okay, so there's three right here. These are all like free illustrations. So there's one with Kirito stabbing. There's one with Kirito and Yu-Gi-Oh. Can we like, yeah. So the last battle, Memories Live On, and then Amayori and Takiguri, which are the two uh, dragons. Um... So very cool illustrations there. More Shaita stuff. Some more Wind Crystals. Um, we'll probably... Uh, yep, there's some Moons. They have everything out of order here. Kirito Crystals, which I probably should have grabbed before Limit Breaking him, but I'm sit I was sitting on like 1,500 uh, Crystals, so it's fine. Uh, tickets, Wind stuff, and then you can start exchanging for this because you can summon for Shaita now, and that's pretty much it. Now, let's look at the other rewards. Let's go over to uh, Ranking. Um, let's see how first place is doing, by the way. Person in first place does not have the new Kirito, and they still have a score of, like, 1.8 million. Um, they don't even have their Cardinal fully leveled up. I wouldn't call it, I'm not gonna call him a cheater, because they're obviously not, because you can see by the numbers. But, uh, it's very interesting that they, maybe they just don't have the crystals, maybe they're a newer player, who knows. Um, second place person definitely does have Kirito, though, but, um... I guess with, you know, that Alice and Yuji and Integrity Knight Yuji are not the hardest hitting units in the game, so that's probably why they're kind of on the lower side. Um, but we'll have to see how this level 100 stage is. Oh, <laughs> they're doing it again. So is this going to be a car? I hope that they continue to do this. Just make 2.5, you get an Imaginarium for the unit. So that way, even if you don't summon for the unit, you're still going to get an Imaginarium for them later down the line. Or if you never pull them, you can just trade it in later. That's very nice. So, if I get 2.5 million, um, I'll have full. I'll have a fully duped out uh, Kirito, because I. If you saw my summons, I pulled him twice in the in the fifth step, and then I grabbed two of his Imaginariums from the shop. So just getting one more 
boom, he's maxed out. Um, so I got up to 1.5. So you can see there, there's an Alice illustration right there you get at uh, 1.5. And then all the rest of the stuff down here is pretty simple stuff like diamonds and stuff like that. So very, very cool. Uh, we're going to hop in. We'll see how this goes. This is my team. Um, I did max out um, Kirito because I'm si I'm still sitting on like another like 200 moons, which I could definitely put into Adis, which now that I'm thinking about it, maybe I should because I'm not going to summon next week. Uh, it really doesn't matter who it is unless it, like I said, unless it's a Klein, I'm probably not going to summon. Do I not have any Imaginariums for you? I have one. And that's fine. Um, her MP did get kind of low towards the end, though. Um, one thing I do want to mention... I mentioned in my last video, but my summon video went a little long. Um, I didn't even notice this until now, but you can actually check whose special partner it is in the actual skills here. So that's going to be nice for later on when there's like a million uh, skill characters. Um, yeah, you know what? Let's go ahead and do it. Um, I'm not using Administrator for this event, the Active Link one, because she really just doesn't have a place on my team where she's really going to work better than Kirito. Um, because Adis and Kirito both link with Asuna, they're just best to kind of, like, Active Link with the, uh, Recollection Field Asuna, whereas I would have to take up a spot to throw Yu-Gi-Oh! on the team for Administrator to be useful. So until we get a better Yu-Gi-Oh!, I'm really not in any rush to, uh have uh, Queen Ella on the team right now, since I need at least three break units. Um, which, as you can see, I do have three here. So, yeah, it says a party with three break skill characters is recommended. So, we are going to be careful with the uh, active links. We're going to save it for when we need to break it down, because... I, th I just want to be on the safer side. And I really would love a new wind healer. And watch, next week we're going to get, like, a break wind healer. Uh, that's better than this Leafa right here. But, you know, it is what it is. Leafa serves two purposes. You know, she can boost charge, and she can also uh, big heal, which is very, very good. Uh, before we hop in, I definitely want to get these last two skills filled out, so that'll be good. Uh, and we're going to hop in, and uh, we'll see kind of how this goes. Uh, hopefully, it's not going to hit too hard, but uh, we will find out. And then, of course, I have Tease and Renly on the back row because they're just my extra break characters. And, uh... You know, when I do need to break, I will I will use Tease's uh, debuff as well. God, he just looks so... This background looks dope, by the way. You see, like, the stairway that Asuna makes in the background? Only 225%? Oh, this is, this is great. Much better than the last one where you had to deal with, like, a 700% thing. Maybe they, maybe they, after all the yelling and screaming, they uh, understood. Um, we're going to start enhance moding Adis. Just so she's in there. Um, I am going to back her up because we want to start with Asuna for one reason. She's going to build that recollection meter. Um, we're going to be able to get to four between her, um, her incarnate right here as well as her assault. So uh, that'll be very, very good. It'll also be nice, like, this Austin is great for recollection, but it'll also be nice when we actually, I want a break, uh, active link Asuna for wind. I don't want one now, like, next week if we see an Asuna, I'd probably be annoyed, because obviously this game has been Kirito Asuna, Kirito Asuna since, like, the anniversary. Um, but, uh, eventually I would like to see one. So we're gonna recollection here, we're gonna break here, go ahead and enhance mode here. Hmm. Let's give Kirito the buff there. We're going to have to switch in for a break character. Which is fine. We also want Kirito in enhanced mode because then he's going to be able to boost his own critical. Also, he does boost every, what, the whole party's attack as well, which is very, very nice. Since most of my win team here is... Uh, physical. Uh, that's gonna be great. Um. Yeah, 
Yeah, let's go for this. What do we have? We have eight. We're going to switch out. Uh, yeah, this is what we're going to do. We're going to do this real quick. Which would be good. He's going to boost attack and he'll boost his own critical. Oh, wait, no. It's just his assault that boosts attack. That's fine. Either way. Uh, now we're going to switch in. Okay, we're going to switch in Tease. We're going to push her back. And then we're going to incarnate right here. Very, very good. This is obviously my first attempt, so it's not going to be perfect. But uh, I always find doing... Okay, 240,000. That's very nice. Uh, doing it on my first attempt is always the best because if I do it once and then I go for a second try, I never end up beating that score. Uh, break. Let's build that up again. Then we're going to do that, which will boost everyone's attack. Oh, oh, I forgot. Tease is the only magic user. Okay. It probably would have been better for me to use Renly here then. That's fine, though. Very, very good there. We're already at 700,000 right there after two incarnates. God, even just look at... This has to be a unit with how flashy his animations are. I almost want to get hit with this car I might... I'm going to probably do it, like, off-camera. Okay, his strange wave gives him some recollection there. We got dangerously close with Asuna right here. Um, so what we are going to do is we're going to back her up, get Leafa in here, and get some healing done. Luckily, Leafa is a high heal, so that's going to fully heal every... I think Austin is, like, almost at full. Um, Okay, now we want to start working on this. Um, So we will go ahead and active Link, right? Mm. I'm going to active Link here, and then we're going to save our second active Link. He's going to charge here again. You can see, you can already see it. Actually, you know what? Maybe we should just save both of them. Hmm. Mm. Let's just do this, because this will protect us from more damage as well. I'm not even going to worry about working on the Incarnate Charge right now, just because... I think he's going to break it down right here. Let's just do this. Gives a boost right there. And then... You know what? Let's do this, because then that gives us an extra attack. After his incarnate is charged. That's actually really smart. Let's do that. Plus, Aedis being our break units, being able to attack twice in this next uh, rotation will be great. Okay, who are you going for? You're going for Leafa. Okay, that's fine. Now you're going to charge your Incarnate. Back to 225%, right? Yep. All right, this is actually much better. Uh, we'll start off with a active link with Asuna and Aedis. And then we're going to have to figure out the rest of this rotation. But I think that's a good way to start. Better to do it with Aedis than Kirito, for the simple reason we get that extra break uh, kind of going on. We do want to start building that recollection field back up because he has got us pinned to the wall with it. Alright, let's see how much this does. Oh yeah, it changes her to her kind of like moon cradle outfit right there. That's pretty cool. All right, what do I want to do here? We only need one more break. So let me...
We're gonna need to heal. Because Leafa's way too low. So let's get Renly out here. And if we can make Leafa wait here, I think that'd be for the best. Okay, good. That's good there. We still have a lot of turns left, but I think we'll be okay. Alright, Kirito. We're gonna charge with Kirito. And I still want to keep building that recollection back up. We are gonna have to give Leafa some focus on um enhancing. Alright, is he gonna lower our incarnate gauge here? Yep, okay, I knew that was coming. Alright, so now, so this is what sucks, is we really need healing, but we also need to work on this Incarnate Gauge. It's like a double-edged sword, so I need, I don't know, I might need a second healer. I mean, we're still going to beat the score from my last run, but it's still just like, we have to, at bare minimum, we have to get Kirito's Incarnate off somewhere. Um, well, either way, we're definitely going to enhance mode you again. All right, he's not gonna, next rotation. Okay, so what we wanna do here, let's heal because someone's gonna die if we don't. You know what? Let's do this. I really just want to push all these turns back behind Gabriel. I don't know if I'm going to be able to, though. Yeah, we'll do this and push Aedis back again, I guess. I think I really screwed up this rotation. I could have done a lot of things better. Well, could we have recollection up pretty high? Uh, we have it at four, so he shouldn't hurt us too bad. Still a decent amount of damage, but not the worst. Alright, he's gonna charge up his incarnate again one more time. Which we do have to deal with because even if we just attack five times, he's gonna get it on the sixth turn. So we do have to deal with this. Um. Hmm. Okay, this is fine. Living is top priority. I don't think this is going to get me to 2.5 at all. Alright, let's do this. Huh? 
We are not going to continue, though, because we're going to switch Renly out to bring uh, Leafa back in and get a heal on before this ends. So, But we will go with this. Unfortunately, he knocked down our recollection so horribly. So, This is not going to do what, you know, I think the first time I used it, I did like 250,000 damage. So I'm not, I'm, if I hit 200,000, I will be shocked with how low recollection is. At least the animation's pretty. Okay, just under. Yeah, with only 1.5 million score. Nope, we're not gonna do that. I could take I could have taken a chance, but with how low everyone is. Actually, no, we would have been fine. This is the last turn anyway. You know what? Alright, there we go. Alright, what do we got? Come on, break that 2.5. 2.1. Alright, I gotta do way better. Yeah, I'm in first place for now, but that is not going to stay. Uh, you know, it's only like two and a half hours after the event went live. I'm sure I'll be dethroned by the time I wake up tomorrow. Um, you know, even if I don't hit 2.5, it's not the worst. You know, I'm sure I'll pull this carry to a million and one times in the future. But um, that's not a bad attempt. I'm, I, I'm, I'm decently happy with that, but I think I was playing it too safe. I think there were definitely times where instead of healing, I could have enhanced with Leafa. But I was just too worried about someone uh, going down that, um, yeah, I was just concerned about that. But that's going to be it, guys. Let me know how you guys found this ranking event. It's definitely leaps and bounds better than the last ranking event. I'll say that 100% certainty. Uh, not as much BS to kind of deal with. I feel like this is, I, I definitely prefer these types of events. Um, one more thing to mention before we get on out of here. Oh my god, again? This happened when I recorded my summon video, too, where it's like, what, what are these downloads even coming from? Alright, well, there was one more thing I want to talk about, and I am going to talk about it before we get out of here. I just don't know why there's a data download every single... <laughs> both times when I'm recording a video. Um, There is more of those stages with the percentage uh, four-star tickets, so... Go over to events right here. I'm not going to make a separate video on this because it's standard stuff. So each day for the next week, you do one of these stages. I guess I'll just clear it right here right now because why not? Um, the enemy's not elemental, but not like it matters. It's level 30, so we'll just hop in real quick. Um, and you get one of these tickets that you will be able to use that give you a chance at getting a four star. Um, I don't think these guys can take more than a couple hits, so let's see. Yeah, there you go. Never takes more than a turn to get those done. So you complete it. Probably should have done this at the beginning of the video, because I'm sure a lot of people won't wait till the end. But, um, yeah. So you do that once a day for the next week. You get one of those tickets. Let's just grab everything in here, because it's right there. Yep, 10% four-star ticket. Uh, so I have a 10% chance to get a 4-star, obviously. Um, and it looks like the cutoff point is now up to these three units right here. So it'll be the... So the, the newest units in this pool are going to be the Fire Kirito and Tease, I believe. Let's look. Yep. Or, not Kirito and Tease. Kirito and Roni. Um, so let's go ahead and use it. I'm not expecting it. These tickets last time, you know, a few weeks ago or like a month ago didn't really give me anything, so... We'll see, but, you know, 10% four-star rate is better than, you know, it's like almost three times what the actual game gives us, so. But uh, this time it did not work out in my favor. Anyways, guys, that's going to be it. Let me know what you guys think down below. Don't forget to subscribe more if you're new to the channel. I'll see you all next time. Have a wonderful day, everyone.